Hi everyone, this is Daniel from Stone Photo Gear, uh, coming to you with a little tip on how to resharpen your Ulfa blades. This works for the 45 millimeter, or in my case, I use the 60 millimeter pretty much exclusively now. Uh, I'm usually cutting through multiple layers of material at once. Uh, heavier materials, this is like a 600 denier polyester, um, and I use the 60 millimeter cutter pretty much exclusively. You can do this with the 45, but it's a little bit more difficult because of the diameter of blade being smaller. So what you're going to do is disassemble your knife. Again, be careful of your blade. You want to main, you want to keep this part. Set the rest of the parts aside. And then the last part, well, second to last part, you're going to need a power drill, cordless or corded, as long as it has an adjustable chuck. So a drill, not an impact driver, but as long as it has an adjustable chuck, you should be good. And then a flat file or a surface or a, flat, a file that has a flat surface on it. Preferably a finer file, nothing too coarse like a rasp, but you want to have actual file. You can get these at Harbor Freight or Home Depot or your local hardware store. Uh, sometimes even dollar stores will carry them and they, they'll be satisfactory for this purpose. However, uh, what you don't want to do with this is obviously uh, really change the angle, the bevel of the grind from the factory. You're basically just honing this back. Um, I used to buy blades uh, when I needed a new one, and then I realized that I can resharpen these things, and they will maintain an edge for a long, long, long time. And this isn't reducing the temper of the blade like you could uh, potentially do if you were to use like an electronic grinding type uh, sharpener that has a high-speed motor and a grinder. You're doing this at a relatively low speed, so it's not going to heat the blade up, which can also reduce the temper of the blade, meaning that the hardness of the blade will change because it heats up. This blade has already been resharpened. However, I'm gonna do this again for you so you can see. So you take your center core for your knife, put your blade onto it, and then you open up the chuck on your drill first so it can accept that all the way in, and then you sandwich the blade in between. And then you can either close this down by hand or and then just one or two clicks. You don't need this to be super tight. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have your drill and you're going to basically find the angle with your file and then just slowly turn the drill on. You want to have it coming towards you because the most files cut on the push, meaning pushing away from you. The, the way it's ground, it's going to cut on the push. So you want to have this blade spinning towards you during this motion. And then you just find your angle and then you just do a little bit of a push. Speed it up a little bit if you need to. And just gently push against the blade. You're not looking to grind it down. What you're doing is you're just re-honing the blade. You're just straightening up that edge. A little bit on this side. A little bit on this side. It might change the angle a little bit, but it's not going to be drastic. You're not coming in at it like an angle that's crazy. You're, you're trying to maintain the original factory angle as much as possible. You're not trying to grind this down, you're just trying to straighten it again. So one or two here, one or two here, one or two here, one or two here. And that should be all that you need. Generally you can feel it. Feel a little bit of a burr. That's ready to go. Again, safety here. Just unlock the chuck, pull out your blade and the core, and then you can reassemble your knife. This is something that does take a little practice. However, when you do it a couple of times, if you have a, a blade that's completely destroyed, like it's got nicks in it, uh, practice on that first so you can kind of get an idea for how to do it. And then you can work on a blade that is in good condition, that can be honed up. So you might see that blade, that, that edge is ready to go again. My cutting mat here, very little pressures needed anymore, and uh, it's ready to go. If you have any questions, please leave them in a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day, and happy sewing.